Rick Kong here for Hollywood First Look. Today, I'm talking with the cast of that 90s show. Let's take a first look. The oh, look, Nick. Shooting star. Make a wish. That's a firework, babe. Wish I could stay for the summer. Can stay. Okay, kids, the basement is all yours. Your grandma just hooked us up. What is it? Leia, do you want to hear about the Donkey Kong conspiracy? How was it going to set and seeing kind of this crazy identical set-ish from that 70s show and then also being there with like Kurtwood Smith and Deborah Jo? It was genuinely a dream come true because I was a fan of that 70s show too and being in the basement was also like kind of whiplash of like, no, it's two-dimensional, it's a TV show, but now I'm like here in the set. (laughs) It's really, really cool and seeing also the little little, uh, specific set pieces that were also from that 70s show and brought back for that 90s show because it's the same set dressers, it's the same crew. So seeing, like there's this very specific thing on the table, it's like glass grapes. (laughs) And I always look at them, uh, I looked at them while watching the show and being, seeing them three dimensional was really crazy. And working with Kurtwood and Deborah Jo was such a treat. Every single day was a master class and they just vibe so well off of each other. And it, it inspires me to uh, help my fellow actors and mm-hmm. uh, co-stars out when in these scenes and work together as an ensemble. I mean, it was the craziest experience. Like, I've never done a live audience before. I don't have a theater background or anything. So I literally cried the first live show. And even walking into the basement and the living room and after watching so many episodes of that 70s show was just the most insane experience. And just, it doesn't feel real. Like, I cannot believe that that happened. <laughs> and now everyone's going to see it. And I really hope everyone loves the show and falls in love with our characters and just the continuation of such a beautiful, heartwarming, yet humorous story. I was a huge fan of 70s show. I I think I watched it like three times all the way through before I ever got the audition. And sitting in those sets, I literally cried because I was just like, this is the basement. This is absolutely insane. It it was the craziest experience. I I kind of agree with Ashley. It just doesn't even feel real. I'm still yet to process it, but so, so fun. Hey, Grandma. Hey, Grandpa. Leia. Tell me about Chicago. What are you into? I'm a pretty big deal in the Bay Club. That's not up for debate. <laughs> yeah, I'm not popular. It's insane, and it's, it's, it's a big responsibility having to carry on this legacy, but I'm so grateful for it. And, you know, everyone, I think, just made me feel so comfortable and like I really belonged. So it definitely kind of set a very nice mood for, I think, the whole show and for all of us. I think they really just, everyone's so supportive of it and so happy, and I hope that happiness kind of shines through um, whenever you watch it. Well, I have to make a shopping list. The kids are going to want snacks. Don't feed them, kitty. That's how it started the first time. I am going to get Fritos, Tostitos, Doritos, all the Ditos. I am back, baby. Son of a bitch. Kitty has the same hairdo from the 70s. And I don't know if they gave you a heads up that like that's what like that's what she was gonna look like. Yes, we had a very serious conversation about Kitty's hair because Kitty's hair is very important to Kitty. And um, you know. And to her legion of followers. Uh, well, and I kind of, Kitty, there's a lot of me in Kitty. Um, and I, I know Deborah Jo Rupp has had the same hairdo for 40 years. So, you know, it's just what it is. It involves a clip and a thing. It's not this. I, I can't do this. Um, but with Kitty, I thought, no, I think Kitty would probably stick with the hairdo that she felt the prettiest in and carry that forward. And so we went back to Kitty's like flip thing. I think the last season I had a wedge. I had asked for the wedge because I just thought that would be faster and easier. But for 90 show, I thought, no, go the extra inch, give her the, give her the flip thing. And it's a little softer. I think it's a little shorter, uh, but the basics are there. It's just so much of who Kitty is. Does Red come back to you right away? Like as you're reading this script and like, you know, he's, he had so many like iconic lines, you know, from that 70s show, we get to hear it again in that 90s show. So I don't know if that character kind of comes back to you right away or like you kind of like kind of ease back into being him. Um, it was uh, pretty much just right there, you know. Uh, uh, as soon as I started reading the script, it was there. 
You know, uh, what I did, though, uh, to make sure was uh, I watched a couple of episodes of the 70s show, you know, uh, just as a warm-up, and I thought, oh, well, okay, you know, and then um, then it was there, but that's, you know, that's uh, uh, more kudos to the uh, writers and uh, creators of the 90s show, who were the same creators from the 70s show, so, you know, they write these good scripts, and I just open my mouth, and then, you know, thumbs out. The show is That 90s Show. You can find it streaming on Netflix now.